Mazia Bahari, let's turn to the subject of human rights, which you mentioned at the start. Uh, Iran has seen uh, record numbers of executions in recent years, uh, even under the presidency of Hassan Rouhani. In fact, uh, in 2016, according to Human Rights Watch, uh, the Iranians carried out more than 400 executions, second only to China in the world. Does Rouhani, in your view, have the power to stop that stuff? And if so, why didn't he? Or is he actually fine with it? Actually, he's not someone who, who's bothered by the, this level of executions. I do not think that President Rouhani is fine with it. He has no control over the executions because the executions are carried out by the judiciary. And the judiciary mostly does that. And, and when you look at the number of public hangings in Iran, when they ha publicly hang people in front of men, women, and children in all the cities around Iran, the judiciary is doing that simply because they want to undermine the Rouhani administration. They want to tarnish the reputation of Rouhani administration, and they want to weaken Rouhani in the international arena. So President Rouhani, as the president of Iran, is responsible really, to warn you know, other really branches of power Absolutely about the absurd. constitution. Let me talk. Let me talk. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let what me, is absurd let, let, is killing people publicly, okay. killing people publicly no, in front of men, no women, and children. Okay, and you can also Rouhani come back in, Mazia. You made that point. Well, I don't know about the numbers of executions. I always uh, am cautious about anything that comes from Human Rights Watch or Amnesty or anything that comes from the West. But the overwhelming number of executions in Iran are drug dealers, and it is murder and rape. And the narrative that your guest promotes is absolute nonsense. I have, I've lived in Tehran all my adult life. I've never seen a public execution. Okay, but not all of those 400 people are drug dealers, as you well know. Uh, almost all of the overwhelming majority are, as I said, the rest are murder and rape. No one has been executed in, been executed in Iran for their beliefs. Is it also a fact that Iranian court sentenced four journalists to prison terms ranging from five to ten years? Uh, all of them were supporters of Rouhani, wrote for reformist papers, uh, but they were sentenced uh, on national security charges. Th that was not an attack on Rouhani by the judiciary? I do. If they've, if if the, if in Iran they've arrested someone for security reasons, for breaking the law, in the West they automatically say they are innocent. I have never. I do not remember at any point whatsoever that anyone in Iran has been arrested of Western origin or anywhere that anyone in the West has ever admitted to be guilty. Mahmoud Marani, no one is questioning that there is a Western view of Iran or a Western bias against Iran. I've written about it myself. What I'm asking you is, are you denying that the Iranian judiciary has locked up pro-Rahani Iranian journalists? Yes or no? It's a simple question. I do not have any evidence whatsoever that people are just arrested for the sake of being arrested.